everybody. This is Kate Strashny from Dedicated. I'm in Queens, New York City with Monica Ellingson. She is the partner at IBM Consulting and practice lead for sports and entertainment. How's your day going today, Monica? It's busy, but it's going very well. Yes. It's busy. It's exciting. We're in the Billie Jean King National Center. It's, it's just been so fabulous. And the weather is great yes. as well. Yes. Everyone looks happy. So let's get started. There are three AI features. You've got match reports, you have AI commentary, and then you've got the likelihood to win. So can you tell us a little bit about those AI features? Yeah, so we have worked with USTA for 30 years, yeah. and we work with them throughout the year, really looking for a way to define the vision for next year's digital fan experience. And uh, you know, we're, we're looking for ways to you know, deepen fan engagement and grow their audience, grow the audience for tennis as a whole, mm -hmm. and also looking for ways to scale the productivity of the uh, editorial team. Let's start with Match Reports, which is new this year. The business problem we were trying to solve with Match Reports is the USTA has a pretty large editorial team, and here at the US Open, we have, you know, uh, over 18 courts with action going on at all times, you know, 256 men's and women's singles matches. Yeah. And that's a lot of matches to cover in any given tournament. So what we're trying to do is actually auto-generate using AI match reports for every single one of them. What actually happened within a match? Now in the past, these match summaries were actually created manually and with AI, we're able to auto-generate those, enabling the USTA editorial team to just review them, edit them, and publish them. Now they can be pushed out within minutes of a match actually completing. Now AI commentary is uh, AI generated spoken commentary and captions for video highlights. Mm -hmm. And we are uh, auto generating AI commentary for 256 men's and singles uh, matches. And these are also happening within minutes of the, the matches actually completing. And um, this feature actually rolled out in 2023. And this year we are enhancing it. We have uh, more frequent and expressive commentary really to help you fans to better follow match play. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we have Likelihood to Win, which is a head-to-head -head player analysis, also AI-generated, that gives an indication of the potential player performance. And the Likelihood to Win can be found within Slam Tracker and other areas of the application. So again, just giving some insights generated by AI about what might potentially happen in a matchup. And I know these insights are not generated through like a magic box or a magic <laughs> wand, right? So we've got Watson X, we've got the granite models. Tell us, how does this actually work? So um, Watson X is actually the foundation under all of our AI solutions. And it's IBM's data and AI platform. And we're using all the components of it. So for example, Watson X data is like a data warehouse. And it really curates and uh, holds and uh, aggregates all of the data that we're using for our AI models. Watson X AI is a library of models that we're able to select from that matches and is the best for that particular use case. And then Watson X governance actually models, uh, monitors the output of the AI models to ensure that there's no hallucination or any anomalies of data. Yeah, I was just thinking, how do we get people to actually trust what's coming out of this AI commentary? And I guess you just, you just said it, right? You have the right data that's coming into it. And you've got an app. You've had that app for several years. Now talk to us about the app. Uh, the app is actually available on um, the iOS platforms as well as all Android phones, responsive web as well. So really like users can enjoy and follow the US Open action on, on their favorite devices when and where they're ready to. I want to talk to you about scale. How much data do you actually collect? How many users are actually using these apps? Well, over the course of the tournament, we process over 7 million data points, both structured and unstructured data. And structured data is like uh, player performance statistics, you know, serve speed, their win-loss ratio. And then unstructured data is, you know, articles and blogs and uh, all of the experts within the industry who are talking about particular players. And we take all of this data together to create insights for fans, and we incorporate that into the digital platforms. So I wanted to talk about beyond tennis, beyond the US Open. Can other businesses use these IBM capabilities in other industries? Uh, you can actually use them in um, multiple case studies in terms of finance, um, as well as in the service industry in particular. 
uh, a lot of our clients are using um, Watson X in terms of automating their customer service workflows so that you know they can actually provide better service faster mm -hmm. um, using Watson X and uh, automating those processes as a whole. And then also really from a cross industry perspective, um, one of the power, real powers behind Watson X is actually our code assistant, which gener auto generates code and enables for faster software development. So again, continuing to evolve and uh, technology now is moving faster and faster every day, yeah. and things like Watson X and Code Assistant are helping that. Amazing. Uh, well, Monica, last question for you is, for people who want to learn more about the actual USTA-IBM partnership, as well as how they can leverage some of these IBM capabilities, where can they go to learn more? Well, of course, you should download the US Open app, and if you want to learn more about our partnership, you can go to ibm.com slash sports. Amazing. Monica, thank you so much. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the app and start watching all the match reports.